Hey guys, how's it going? Um, it's been a long while and I think you probably already mastered the dagger usage. If not, check out the first part of the series. Um, it will be linked below in the description. There you can get some details on how to utilize the dagger. So today we will be talking about uh, resource management as a rogue and planning ahead and keeping track of your win conditions. Planning ahead means that you always keep track of your mana curve and look at your cards and basically you have to keep an eye on the following aspects how do you utilize your mana in the best way in the following turns how do you want to spend your resources and um, what is your current win condition or what are your current win conditions which is the most likely one and that also decides which resources can be used in which way first thing which is very basic it's similar to the dagger usage, don't waste your resources. Um, especially as a rogue, you have a lot of combo cards, so you will always also have to think about how do you um, enable these combos in the following turns. Maybe you don't want to play that one drop this turn, but want to keep it for a Wild Spine Slayer or an SS7 or an Advan. Also, you have to consider what you are up against, because um, of course it's not always the right play to not play that one drop. If you're up against an aggressive deck, it might be better to play that one drop because you need the bot um, presence. But if you're up against a control deck, you might rather go for um, a value play, which means um, make sure that all your combos um, work out and don't do the tempo play where you just put the minion onto the board without its value. What always matters is um, what is your current win condition, um, is it burst, is it board, and choose your path um, along that line. If your uh, win condition is bursting your opponent with spells down, um, then you might not be allowed to use these as removal. Talking about win conditions is especially for rogue most of the time very interesting because usually you play some tempo driven deck and so the win conditions do vary. Uh, the win condition can be a, an early huge advent if it doesn't get countered. Uh, the win condition can be just uh, sheer tempo in the mid game and overwhelming your opponent with the minions on the board. But the win condition can also be just um, throwing a lot of spells in his face if you play some Maligus combo or spell damage finisher. It could also be something like Leroy Coldblood. Especially as a rogue, it's not that certain which your win condition is and especially in the early state of the game you have multiple win conditions and you don't know sh for sure which win condition it will be so that's why it's especially for rogue very important to never waste your resources you're like not a burn mage who actually can win games by just throwing a fireball at turn 4 into your face. It's still not a good play, but you can still win the game by doing that. Usually Rogue is about applying pressure one turn and never stop. So you don't have to apply pressure by turn 1 or turn 2 or turn 3, but as soon as you start, there has to be some tempo pressure on your opponent every single turn. Of course, that doesn't apply if it's like a very slow matchup, then you can have maybe a dead turn, your opponent might also have a dead turn, and then it won't matter too much. If you're looking for a setup where you can have an excellent curve of tempo plays and pressure your opponent down. That only applies if you're not playing a pure combo deck, like there are some builds which are heavily depending on a Maligus combo, um, there your setup is rather um, cycling, drawing and getting to that combo. The pressure play applies to tempo decks. It doesn't apply that much to pure combo decks, though most builds, even the Maligas builds, are a mix of both. Only give up your win condition basically, um, if it's your last, um, if your opponent has lethal. That also leads us into um, the point that you sometimes have to take risks. Maybe your opponent is, is very close to lethal, um, he's maybe 4 or 5 damage off and you know there are certain cards he might have to kill you next turn, but 
um, if you prevent that lethal you don't have any win condition left so sometimes it's the correct play to take that risk because you might not have another out after that anyway so sometimes stalling isn't right if stalling means you don't have any win condition left if you do have a win condition left of course um, prevent that lethal and try to go on so guys that's all already my thoughts on how to plan ahead as a rogue always look at your mana curve always Think about your win condition, always consider what you're up against to decide if you're up for the value play or up for the tempo play and plan your curve accordingly. If you liked the video, I'm really happy if you hit that like button. If you didn't like it, of course, uh, you can also hit that thumbs down button. I'm really happy if you also give me some feedback if you didn't like it, of course, also if you'd like it. Um, please use the comment section for that. You can also um, contact me on Twitter and of course you can find my live streams on Twitch almost every day. Thank you for watching guys. See you soon.